Hello there, my name is John Lincoln. I'm the Assistant Director of the Office of Research Testing and Evaluation in Roanoke City. I'm going to talk through the general steps that we went through as a team to prepare the files to upload for the Engaged Minds website. The first step is we received from the Engaged Minds team uh, some general templates of the different, we'll call it uh, demographic information, along with different behavior related information like attendance and and relationships and schedules and grades and GPA that uh, are part of the engaged mind base unit. The next thing that we did is we looked at the different templates and slightly modified them to work with what our student information system contains. This is the general template for the courses upload that the engaged mind team uh, sent us. And what I did is, using the general template, is I used uh, Cognos, which is a report writer for our student information system, eSchool Plus, and found the different fields within our database and wrote some criteria to pull those fields for the active classes. One of the outputs, or the, the uh, report that came from the Cognos query, is what's on the screen here. We have the different components of what came uh, out of the database and some of these components weren't in the template. Some of these components are more unique for our school division like the the A and B cycle. Uh, Monday might be an A day and Tuesday would be a B day. That wasn't something that was a component in the template and the Engaged Minds team was very cooperative and and they made their programming work with our unique schedules. It's very easy to to upload a file to the Engaged Minds website in essence, you put all of those different templates and anything that you and the team decide is going to work best for your students into a zip file, and then you use a secure client to upload it to their server. What I really like about the Engaged Minds team is they're also open to customization for what the school division might need. This is an example of a cohort file that we need as a division to keep track of students that the state expects to graduate by certain years. This is definitely not in a template that came from Engaged Minds, but it's information that we find very important to help us keep track of the students who are supposed to graduate within four years, but also keep track of the students who the state has made accommodations for that may need five years or six years to graduate based on either their IEP or LEP status.